This is the Amation Secure Hard Drive. It has a USB 3.0 connection and uses software encryption to keep all your data protected. The unique feature with this drive is that it has added the option to use Bluetooth authentication, so you can log into the drive automatically when a device like your smartphone or tablet is nearby without having to enter your password every time. In this video, we're going to walk through how to configure the Bluetooth authentication and particularly how it functions along with our Android app. Now I'm going to plug in the drive. On this PC, I've already pre-installed the Amation software that came with the drive, so now I just need to go through the configuration. Windows recognizes the secure drive and then brings up this setup window. I need to provide a password and hint answer for the setup. The hint portion is important in case you ever forget your password or you're using Bluetooth authentication and your device gets stolen. I'm going to choose to use Bluetooth authentication then continue to the next step. Now here we get to decide how I want to use our Bluetooth device. In the OR mode, the drive will first try to find the Bluetooth device that we configure. If it's not available, then we'll be prompted to enter our password. If we want to have more security, we can select the AND mode and require both the password to be entered and that the Bluetooth device will be in range. Then there's an option to use the traditional password-only functionality without any Bluetooth. Right now I'm going to select OR and discover the Bluetooth device I want to use. This window informs us of how to make our Bluetooth device discoverable. Since I'm using the Android app, I'm going to get my phone out now and follow those steps. I've already installed the app on my phone. You can search for it on the Google Play Store or use the link that we provide in the software. So let's get started and press Add Drive. The app asks us to provide a name to refer to this particular drive. You can have multiple secure drives within the app, so this is just a label to remind you which one that it works with. I'm going to call this my work drive. Next, I'm prompted that the app wants to make the phone Bluetooth discoverable for 120 seconds, so I'm going to say yes to continue. Now I'm told I need to complete discovery of DroidX on my computer. DroidX is the Bluetooth name of this phone, and I can use that to identify it in the PC software. I hit OK, and I get this new drive shown in my list. You'll also see the Bluetooth logo up on top blinking, and this icon will stay blinking as long as the drive is available for setup. At this point, I'm going to go back to the PC software and finish Bluetooth discovery. After pressing continue, the Bluetooth module on the PC will start looking for available Bluetooth devices. You can actually use any discovered item as your authentication device, but by using an Android device with our app, you'll have some extra features and added security. So here are the devices to choose from. I'm going to select my Droid X and continue. Now I can enter a helpful name to identify what device this is. I'm going to just add my droid to the description that came from the app earlier, and then the drive will set up this new configuration and make the drive available for use. Now I'm just going to open the drive and put a couple pictures in there to show how easy the encryption works within the drag and drop abilities of Windows. And there you go. Now that we're done, I'm just going to come down here and eject the drive to remove it from the PC. Here I have an XP machine with the Amation encryption software pre-installed again, but I haven't done anything on it since I configured the drive on the first PC. This laptop has a built-in Bluetooth module, so I can simply plug the drive in, and it will automatically search for my phone and authenticate me without having to enter in a password. Now I can open up the drive and use it as I normally would. Here's that picture I had copied from before. Next I'm going to show how locking the drive within the app prevents the Bluetooth authentication from succeeding. Here's what the app shows when the drive is unlocked and available. By pressing on the drive we can change it to the locked state, but the lock icon and the text change to show how the drive is configured. Now when I plug in the drive, the software will be unable to locate my Bluetooth authentication and will request the password instead. I'm going to cancel this to show that if you fail to provide the required credentials, you'll not be able to access the drive. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to change your credentials on a drive that you have already configured. I've plugged my drive in already and have access to it, so I'm just going to go down into the taskbar and select the Amation Secure Hard Drive application icon, which is this little red lock 
and then I'm going to select Change Authentication. First, I have to provide login information before making any changes. I can select to use my password or hint. This time, I'm just going to give my password. Now I can enter the new credentials that I want to use with this drive in the future. I'm going to leave my password and hint question and answer the same, and I still want to use Bluetooth, so I'll leave that checked as well. Here I get the option again to select how I want to use my Bluetooth authentication. This time I'm going to change it to an AND mode for extra security. I could discover a new Bluetooth device if I wanted, but I'll just leave the checkbox to continue using the device I'd already set up. Now this window has come up to notify me that something is configured wrong within the app. Since I'm changing credentials, one of my drives listed in the app needs to be in setup mode like when we first created it. So I'm going to go back into the app and perform a long press on the drive I want to use. I then get this menu with different options, and I'm going to select the option to enable setup. I have to again give permission to enable Bluetooth discovery, and then I can see from the blinking Bluetooth icon within the app that I'm back in setup mode, and my phone is available to be used in the new configuration. So now I'll switch back to the PC software and press continue. The software will then grab the Bluetooth setup information and save these new credentials onto the drive. We can then test out this two-factor authentication style by ejecting the drive and then plugging it back in. When the drive has been detected, we will get the login screen to enter our password. In addition to the password, the software will also attempt to locate our Bluetooth device. Once it finds it, we will have provided both authentication factors and access will be granted. Finally, I wanted to mention one other feature of the app to make the Bluetooth authentication more secure. You can set the item within the app to always be locked. Then when you want access to the drive, perform a long press on the item within the app and select Unlock for 60 seconds. The drive item will then remain unlocked for a minute. Within that time, you can plug the physical drive into the computer and have the automatic Bluetooth authentication functioning properly just as you would expect. Then after that minute, the item within the app will lock again. You will still have access to the physical drive on the PC for as long as it remains plugged in. However, if someone were to steal it and try plugging it in even within range of your Bluetooth device, they would still not have access.